Hi, I'm Chris, and welcome to Brookfield Engineering's introduction video to the Model D Helipath Stand. Our Helipath Stand was designed for materials that do not readily flow and that cannot be accurately measured using our standard disc spindles. Some of these materials include pastes, putties, gels, and creams. Some of these materials include cheese, frosting, toothpaste, mayonnaise, and peanut butter. The problem measuring these materials with standard disc spindles is that they are stationary and when they rotate they carve out an area around the spindle. This creates an air pocket resulting in a drastic decrease in viscosity. This is known as channeling. The solution? Creating a test method with a downward and upward motion that eliminates channeling and consistently drives the spindle through an undisturbed portion of the sample. Our helipath stand comes equipped with a base, two leveling screws, an upright rod, two adjustable stops, and a drive unit with a universal clamp. Also included with our helipath stand is a set of specially designed T-bar spindles. The T-shape allows these spindles to measure high yield materials while creating as little disturbance to the sample as possible. Our T-bar spindle set includes six spindles. TA through TF and a chuck closer weight assembly to attach it to your viscometer. TA has the largest diameter and can measure the lowest viscosity range while TF has the smallest diameter and can measure the highest viscosity range. Here is our helipath stand fully assembled. In order to attach your viscometer to the helipath simply put the mounting rod into the clamp and tighten. In order to attach a T-bar spindle onto your viscometer, you must first attach the weight onto the chuck closer assembly and tighten. Unscrewing the back of the chuck will allow you to slide the T-bar spindle into the hole. Once it is in as far as it can go, tighten the chuck and the spindle will be securely held in place. Once your spindle is secure, simply lift the coupling nut on the viscometer and screw it on. Keep in mind, Brookfield uses a left-handed thread. If you're not sure your material requires our helipath stand, try sticking a blunt object, such as a pen or pencil, into the sample and pull it out. If the material does not completely fill back in on itself and leaves a hole, your material is appropriate for our helipath stand. This indicates that your material has a yield, which means a certain amount of force must be applied to it before it can begin to flow. Our helipath stand is compatible with the following instruments. Our dial reading viscometers, our DV1 and our DV2 viscometers, as well as our DV3 rheometers. Thank you for watching Brookfield's introduction video to the Model D helipath stand. If you have any further questions or comments, you can refer to our website or give us a call. Thanks for joining.